Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to take our barbecue sauce again. The chicken isn't all the way done. It's still a little pink in the middle, so we are going to let our sauces just go through our chicken. Okay? It's almost like basting a turkey. Now, you can go very heavy with this because we're not closing the lid again. We're just going to let it probably close it for a moment, but we're going to basically just close it very easily. So, now we're going to close the lid. Let them... let all that barbecue sauce uh, go through. Okay? So, see, it's almost done, but not to a liking in the middle. Okay? You want it done like that all the way through. Okay? So, our chicken is going, our potatoes are going, and I'm going, we're going to have our green bean, our peas, excuse me, going, and we're actually going to make a dessert, but it's kind of on the heavy side, so I'll show you how to make a cream pie with fruit. Okay, now our chicken strips are done. I want to show you exactly what they should look like when they're done. Okay, we got a clean cutting board. So, this is how they should look when they're done. Okay, you don't want any, that's why you want to make sure that they're pretty much done when you're actually putting on the last layer of sauce. If you can tell, there's no pink, only the sauce, okay? Now what we're going to do is we're going to take them off. Okay, now we're going to make our mashed potatoes. You uh, want to get a stick of butter that has the like one tablespoon, two tablespoons, three tablespoons, so forth, if you can see that. And it's just regular butter. And we're going to put about one tablespoon in this, so you want to cut it open. And you want to put that inside. Now we're going to put our milk, about a cup, yeah, it was about a cup. Now we're going to use our mixer. You certainly can um, cut it, I mean mash, you do mashed potatoes with it. You may find 
that you may want a little more cream to your potatoes. Okay, so you want your potatoes pretty, pretty much like that. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is my lovely Greek seasoning. It goes with everything. It's unlimited of what you can do with this. And just give it a little a little sprinkle in there. And you certainly can use like um, some parsley or anything else that you prefer to use. And that's our potatoes. Before you ever want to put anything on the table, you want to taste it first, okay? Mm. You may find that you don't like the silk milk in it, the soy milk. You may find that you like regular whole milk or half and half. Um, you can certainly do that.